Jurors listened to hours and hours of witness testimony in the first full day of the Kyler Use trial. He's charged with two counts of first degree murder in the deaths of Kara Kopetsky and Jessica Runyon's. KCTV 5's Emily Rittman was in the courtroom as witnesses took the stand. The very first witness called to the stand today was Kara Kopetsky's mother, Rhonda Beckford. We then heard from several of Kara's friends who said Kara told them about abuse from used when they were teenagers. Some said they did not know how to react at that age. From the witness stand, Rhonda Beckford read a poem she says was written by her daughter, Kara, about her relationship with used. After all the pain and suffering, I have had enough though, I'm through. Now I find myself in an unfamiliar place, pressing charges on the one I love, getting a restraining order because I'm scared of this person you've become. Beckford also read what Carr wrote when she filed for an order of protection against Eust days before her disappearance. Carr said Eust had kidnapped her, restrained her, and had previously held a knife to her throat. Several of Carr's friends testified that as teenagers, Carr told them about abuse by Eust. Amy Clark says two weeks prior to her disappearance, Eust picked up Carr from her home and she returned with injuries. She had choke marks around her neck and a fat lip. Clark says she confronted Eust about the injuries. He was hysterical and I told him to leave her alone. He said, if I can't have her, nobody can. She had said that he, he had had some dreams and had, you know, verbally opened, opened up to her and told her that he had had dreams of killing her and of, uh, or not per se killing her, but to like cutting her throat and slitting her wrists. Youth's defense attorneys questioned the credibility of the witnesses, asking why their testimony today differed from previous depositions and interviews with law enforcement. Today's testimony focused on Kara Kapetsky, her relationship with Eust and her disappearance. We are expecting to hear additional testimony regarding Jessica Runyon's later in the trial. KCTV5 will be here for day three to bring you updates. Reporting from Cass County, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, there is help. The Domestic Violence Network Hotline in Kansas City is 816-HOT-LINE. The phone is answered 24 hours a day. They can connect you with a shelter, counseling, and legal options.